At Create Future, we pride ourselves on working fast. Now, uh, for us, quick doesn't mean dirty. It actually means kind of breaking the hardest part of the problem first so that you can learn, de-risk, and move forward the rest of the project with, with confidence. Um, and I found a great example of this in a surprising place uh, with a story that involves talking hamsters. So uh, Disney Animation's film Bolt hit a bit of a roadblock uh, with six months to go in its production. Uh, one of the main characters, Rhino, uh, just wasn't working. And a script reboot meant that the character needed to go from walking on uh, all fours to walking on just two feet. Now, I don't understand the technical implications of this. It means changing something called the rigging. And apparently this is no easy task. Uh, the technical directors on the film told the directors and the producers that it was going to take six months, which meant, obviously, the release date was completely shot. Now, after a, a call to arms... Uh, three animators actually stayed over a weekend, so just a couple of days, and came back on Monday with a walking, two-legged model of Rhino the hamster. So how is it possible that a six-month problem, smart guys are estimating a six-month problem, and then it ends up being solved in just a kind of couple of days? Well, importantly, the six-month estimate wasn't wrong. It was actually based on guaranteeing success, and it came from a a fear of failure, essentially, which was the prevailing culture at Disney at the time. They were saying, give us six months and we can guarantee this will work. But actually what they did was, you know, they gave the team permission to think creatively, to innovate, and importantly, permission to fail. You know, and they came back with something that wasn't 100% right, but proved it could be done. It doesn't need to be 100% right. If you only spend a couple of days on the solution, then you have a lot of time left to fix the details and get it to 100% right. So this is why we at Create Future love uh, design sprints, why we love prototyping, and why we look to test and learn as early as possible in the process. You know, it's also why we put a lot of faith and trust in the expertise that we have on the in the room, whether that's from our side and also from from the clients. So um, that story uh, is from Ed Catmull's book. Uh, Creativity Inc., which is a, a great read, particularly if you're looking to build uh, empowered, uh, creatively empowered teams. Um, I haven't seen Bolt, so that's my viewing uh, sorted for the weekend. Uh, and if you've got any stories of where like prototyping's worked for you, I'm always keen to hear them. So please get in touch.